if you've ever been to Keeneland, it should come as no surprise that it takes a ton of work behind the scenes to give everyone the best experience. And if you've never been to Keeneland, I feel like you should by the end of this week, Tyler Molito giving us all the yes. details. Shame so for, on the, you. <laughs> for the remainder of the week, we're going to share some more stories about the people who have a hand in that effort. The aforementioned Tyler Molito is talking all things wagering this morning. <laughs> Long before the first bet is placed each race day, Keelan's wagering team is hard at work preparing to provide the best insight possible. We have our meeting at 10 o'clock. We have our uh, programs out. We're handicapping for the day. For bettologists like Greg Burke, much of the day is spent providing insight for the first time better. But with more than a dozen bettologists on staff, Burke says each one has their own approach of giving the information. Julie, she, uh, she always talks about the breeding. Uh, John, he always talks about the DRF and the buyer number. Um, um, let's see, Marissa, she's always talking about confirmation. She comes from the equine industry uh, um, education-wise, and uh, she knows how to look at a horse and tell what kind of horse is going to do well that day. But as Director of Wagering Development Jim Goodman explains, it's not just betting at the window the team at Keeneland keeps track of. Only about 10% of our handle is here on track. So when we have a Saturday, for example, we did $22 million, and I think we, we did about 8% actually that day. So 92% of our handle was at other sources, including betting on the phone, betting through your computer, betting, betting through the ADWs, or at a racetrack like Aqueduct or Santa Anita or Churchill Downs. Now, just because your bet isn't a winner, this isn't like Vegas where the house always wins. Here at Keeneland, you're playing against everyone else who's placing a bet. It's called paramutual wagering. When you go to a casino and you're playing a hand of blackjack, you're playing against the house. So when you win money, the house loses and vice versa. In horse racing all over the country, it's paramutual so that we take a certain percentage of the handle for operating expenses to pay the purses, but you're, co you're absolutely correct. You lose, somebody else, is win somebody else wins. With how many people place bets every day, Burke says it's hard not to have a smile on your face when someone wins. It's so neat that when you, when you work with somebody and then later, like you said, later on in the day, they might be passing by and it's like, hey, I cashed that ticket. And, and you know, it was probably only for about three bucks, but, but they cashed the ticket and that's a big deal. Reporting from Keeneland, Tyler Melito, Fox 56 News.